good morning, church. Good morning, family. Thank you, Gid, sa pag-invite diri sa akin. Pero doon, hindi na nabago kay taga Word for the Word, La Carlota, kuya. And um, hamba ko, hindi kuya mag-cry. Kay strong, kuya. <laughs> Kagindi, Gid. So, um, I'm happy to see uh, all of you here. And I believe nga naglakad to, kamudiri for, for the Lord. And not just for church. And um, um, I'm happy that our church is growing even some 35 years ago. And um, to start with, why is Mother's Day? Hindi pwede Wife's Day. Gabriela Silang of the family, would you agree? Because... Um, for me, I want a wife's day, but it is today because it's our anniversary also. And I cannot say no. I cannot say no to my spiritual father. It's because this is for the third time I can invite Nyako to speak, nga mag a speaker in this house. And um, I think it's really time for me to, to, um, to share how God is faithful into my life because I'm turning 50 this May 18th. <laughs> Kag, um, kanamig isang ginoo sa kabuhi ko So, sang every day in my life I, Every day in my life You have this uh, routine to sit down Sa inyong throne And uh, on my throne, sa tubang sinami Aragi ko the word of God And that is um, Praise the Lord, all my soul For in everything, give thanks <laughs> yeah. So, um, how God connected our lives sa adlad lang atanan for for all the teenagers, even for the children. Hindi ginabantayan ni Uzi because once ko na magambal ko sa mga disobedient children, tapat git. Um, I'm really sorry, okay, hindi ko kuya ka, ka speak in English that straight like them. But, um, do you have someone in your house who don't know how to fix their kalat? Or do you have someone in your house that even nakita na ang nahulog na towel or ulunan wala pick up? Or do you have someone in your house na kung magsugo ka mo, they obey? Even for our parents, basta ginasugo, ganit, namian kita for that kind of children. Wala nagalalis, wala gabalibad, wala gahapamangkot. Nga ako ha, why me? So, um, these are just the daily daily routine in our life, nga makita ta, daily happenings in our life as mothers, as Gabriela silang in the family. But uh, true, I am strong in the family, even for my brothers, and even for my stand in the Lord. So, um, I entitled my, my message, No Small Task for All the Mothers in the World. But this not include only nga ako as a mother, but as a follower of Jesus Christ in my life. How God connected my life from since I'm, I've been born again up to now. So let me read to you the first Samuel 9, 1, 2, 9, 1 to 3 first. And in siya nga story is, nag, nag, ano, in siya sa akin, the story of soul. Wherein, this is just an ordinary Ordinary chapter in the life in the Old Testament. Um, we're in uh, not really that uh, special, but uh, it touched me. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bekorath, the son of Apia, the son of Benjamite, a mighty man of valor. He had a son whose name was Saul, a choice, a handsome man. And there was not more handsome person than he among the sons of Israel. From his shoulders up, he was taller than any of the other people. Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. So Kish 
said to his son, Saul, take now with you one of the servants and arise, go search for that donkeys. 9:15 to 17. Now the day of now the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed this to Samuel. About this time tomorrow, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin. Anoint him ruler over the people of Israel. He will deliver them from the hand of Philistines. I have looked on my people for their cry has reached me. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord said to him, This is the man I spoke to you about, and he will govern my people. 9, 22 to 24, Then Samuel brought Saul and his servant into the hall and seated them on the, of the head of those who, are, who were invited, about 30 in number. Samuel said, Samuel said to the cook, bring, bring the piece of meat I gave you, the one, the one I told you to lay aside. So the cook took up the tie with what was on it and set it in front of Saul. And Samuel said, here is what we have been kept for you. Eat, because it was set aside for you for this occasion from the time I've said. So just an ordinary errands for that day. Saul was sent by his father on an important errand. Did Saul obey? Yes. To find on their lost donkeys, because they're on their time, donkeys is considered as necessities. It is uh, used is for holding, it is used for transportation, and even used for farming. So uh, before, donkeys were just was re it's really a necessities, even if you are rich or if you are poor. So it's just an ordinary task told by a father to a son, a matter of obedience to soul. So how is la my life connected here? Sa 1 Samuel 9 to hasta sa 24, yung ginbasa ko. So it's just a uh, daily ordinary task, and often we think that events just happen to us on our daily regular life. But we learn from the story about soul. God used common occurrences to lead us to where He wants us to be. May it be good or bad circumstances that affected us daily, we have to see it in positive way and that God has a reason and a purpose in them. We, we must not base our hopes or future on our potentials. Instead, we must consistently obey God in obedience because in God, obedience matters and not potentials. So, Natouch ko ni sa life ni Saul, just the start. Because I said to myself, where did I start my obedience? You know, the, from Min Min, they call me Min Min. They call, they call me now, madam. Why? So, um, let's see how God um, connected my life that led me to madam or a greater one. As they have said, from ordinary to extraordinary. So I'm, I'm really an ordinary person, ang Baptist kami. And, um, but sa um, natubuan na kuya buot, I cannot say that we are poor. Because naga, maski garkila kami yung balay na bahay kubo, we're renting 50 pesos uh, per month, I think, sa Borgo, sa La Carlota. I don't consider myself as poor because um, we're rent, we're, we, we have a house. Even garrent lang kami sa sinanga balay. Even it's nipa that if you lay down in the kawayan nga hiligdaan, wala pa si Jimuel. You have Malboro, you have Hope, and you have Jaguar sa atop magtigululan. Pero it's okay. I'm happy for that. I have a house. Gina floor wax ko pa na everyday. Though wala kami ya TV before, kaya hindi kami yaka afford, but still I'm, we're not poor. Kaya sa neighborhood namun, may siman to nga may ang balay nila, may TV. So we watch. Pwede man kami yaka watch, maski black and white, okay lang. I'm, I don't consider myself as poor also, maski wala ko ya, sang kamay ko ya wala. I never even have, maski isa ka dal. Okay lang. Because may tupad balay is rich, and she's the only daughter. She have kitchen set, she have dolls. So we play the whole day. Hindi kang pwede ka play good sa gabi eh. 
So okay lang. I'm satisfied and contented. Gaskul man ko. And um, kompleto man may nanay, makukagtatay. So I'm not poor. I'm just contented with my life. Amo lang na iya ang pag-define ko sang life ko. So since we are Baptist, we are brought up lang uh, consistent ang life every Sunday that we have to go to Sunday school. And syempre, for the first memory verse that I have is, everybody has it, Ephesians 6.1. Diba? Ephesians 6.1. Doesn't matter, no impact. Just Ephesians 6.1. Pero, since I'm just simple and contented, yung butang ko giniyan sa mind ko. Amuning rules mo. This is the rules in the house. Ephesians 6.1. Obedience. Children, This comes with a promise. Ang ginpilit ko, gina siya sa utok ko. So, um, nakatatak na niya sa mind ko from seven years old ko. Kaya mo niya mo reverse sa balay kag sa simbahan. Ulihin na lang na si John 3.16. So, um, where did I start looking for my donkey? When I was 15 years old, my mom told me to siling niya lang, niya, man, you're going to Manila. Because uh, your tita offered um, school for you, third year high school. Uh, silly, then I said to myself, why me? I'm the only daughter. I have three brothers. Ako lang ang babae. I'm the only girl. But since I have Ephesians 6 once, wala ko mahimo. I traveled through Don Claudio. Remember, MV Don Claudio. Gimpasaka lang ko tiyas ang iloy ko with then ad manok na adobo and egg. That's for the dinner, ah, that's for the for my lunch and for my dinner. Kaya that's only an overnight mag-travel ka Manila to, from Bacolod to Manila. Gin-fetch lang ko tiyas ang tiyo ko with the signboard with my name. But, dito ko nakita ang dangki ko. Because, as I stay there in the house, tanan to yung amid is a longo. And one of the mayordoma there was a born-again Christian. And um, dikto ko na intindihan ang ginatawag nga hindi ka lang niya tawag nga religyoso ka kaya simba ka every Sunday in your life dikto ko na intindihan ang ginasiling nila that you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ so um, if I want you if I mention the church that I'm going there it's still good good pa to share before because it's the church of uh, Pastor Kibuloy, GIL. I even went, we also went to um, Nalipatan ko itong ngalan sa church, but uh, it's a big group also. And um, we have prayers every Wednesday. And my whole year for my third year life was really blessed because uh, naka-private school ko. Even my uncle is, uh, is a Japanese, he loves me. But still, I consider my, myself as not as the one with my cousins nga rich hila. I still consider myself as in the level of all the yayas there because I love it. I love it being just in just in just that level. God bless me with my whole third year life. And um, yes, it's time to go back to Doña Hortensia by fourth year. But pagbalik ko, God is still faithful. Pagpungko ko sa... Harden sang Doña Hortensia. I meet Ching Cortez. Then God provide a church for me, which is word for the world, La Carlota. It is where all it started, ang word for the world, La Carlota. And it is managed by Bro and Kiko. That's how we call them, Bro and Kiko. That's Pastor Edman and uh, Ki Pastor Kiko. And um, together with these angels, for the whole year, we do the stuff of uh, missions and everything. We really enjoy. We really enjoy that fourth year. And college life. Um, na born again. Ko gali April 26, 1986. And um, pagbalik ko sa Manila, pag, uh, pag college ko, um, I have this new memory verse already. Because, um, siyempre, ga change ka man. Jeremiah 29:11 For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord 
plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So this is my Bible verse. Pag start ko college, but Sally said, my mom said, ma nurse ka lang, ay secretarya lang yah handom ko, kaiti ordinary lang ko yah. I don't want uh, heavy jobs and responsibilities. I don't like that. But my mom said, I want. It's my dream to have a white collar. And um, did I obey? Yes, I obeyed. I obeyed my mom. And you know what? Even we don't have that money to sustain me on my uh, college life. God sent isa ka business kay mommy in the house. And that is beauty, the name of our baboy. This baboy is serve us for four years. Every tuition fee, ga bata, gina siya. And pag graduate ko, the last bata he given is those six or seven, and then napatay siya. And uh, it was taken care lang kisang isa kaya yan na mga nilaon. And, um, and my mom, nalil sa City Hall, pag panaog, they will, she will get uh, damog sa Samson Karinderia, like that. And, uh, really, Lord, that's how good you are. That's, it's not that easy. It's not that easy, but uh, amo gina siya yung life ko. So, um, after I graduate, I graduate as ang nag-nurse na ko, 1989, and that first year college ko, this is the time nga uh, inang namit ko si John Javier as my friend. Pero, hindi pa ni siya ya born again ya that time. I met him because ang mga, one of, some of her, his friends, Nagapangaluyag na iya sa akon. So, siya na yung akon. Yung, uh, wala lang. Upudupula na siya because ang akon, being a classmate sa college, was a nurse. So, nga classmate niya sa high school. So, during one of the birthday party, na-meet ko ni sila. And, um, that's the time I meet John Javier as a friend. Really, as a friend. 1989 to 1990 na siya, with God's, uh, with my, with my Jeremiah 29, 11, I graduated as a nurse and even passed my board exam. I went to Manila and worked there for five years. And uh, five years in Manila, I even met Pastor Abrad, si Bro Gali, sa Manila. We even have times there. Sadya nami. And the faithfulness of God, even in my work, I didn't work as a nurse. I work as a cashier sa balay sa restaurant Santita ko, which is a Japanese restaurant beside Malati Church. And um, and during that time, na graduate man si John Javier. Um, he worked as an employee of Omni Marketing. He was a salesman of beeper. Remember the beeper, sa mga relate sa beeper. So, um, uh, five years in Manila, traffic, work, every day. Sang that time that my brother, one of my brother who stayed there for two years, mansakon, yung nagupul mansakon, kina ka graduate na. And it's really time for him to, to find the work. Kay Siman siya. So, you know, sa Siman here mag-apply is really, really hard kung wala ka pangilala sa mga companies. And that's the, the father of Aaron and Jan Jan. So, after two years of waiting, nakasakay manggit siya. And nakawork siya. So, I, see, I, I said to him, Jans, pag nakasakay, hindi ko ginimalipatan, ginambal ko, ginisiyam. Pag nakasakay ka na, kalipati lang ang tanan. Naging himo ko si mo. But never mo kalipatan ang ginikanan ta. That's the word na ginambal ko siya. And mayo kitang ginuho sa kabuhi niya. And even in the ups and downs, ang faithful ang ginuho sa kabuhi niya. And um, kapoy, it's really hard living in Manila sa traffic, the pressures. Because I, as I grow mature there, I'm, I'm serving one family. A family nga ka, so very stressful. 
Ka siyempre na lahat po may tita. Though siya man ka-serve sa tanan from the cousins, down to the brothers, down to the kakilalas, all the, the employees in the restaurant is all relatives and titas and titos. But God is good. I'm set aside. Ko na mga tiyo, ko go work there. I also work there, but with special attentions, with special treatments from my uncle. Nagkapasalamat, hindi ko sinasagin noo. So, during the time of work, for five years sa kabuhi ko to sa Manila, I decided, after sa nakasakay dyan, I decided to say, maybe it's time for myself. Mamana na ko, Lord, kay 28 na ko ba lang? And maybe it's time for me to settle down, but who? Sino pa manahon ko? Wala yan ang butang sa paminsaron, kuya si Jan Javier, ha? Wala, gid siya, ya? Because I have qualities and requirements for myself. So, 1998-99, in between that, um, maybe, siling ko, Lord, it's really time to go home in La Carlota and to reconnect my life to you. But during, for the one year of preparation, nga, gina, ano ko, gina, gina, aim ko get to go home by 1999. Every day, even in my duty sa store, I have this scribble pad. Sino ka remember scribble pad? Do stationary, but plain na siya. I write, I wrote a uh, prayer request. Because in our church there, in Word for the World, Makati, you have your tithes and offering, you have your prayer request sa tubang. So every Sunday, sa first service, gakadtugi ko na sa tubang and drop this prayer request. Ang Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday na page, ina-drop ko na. So it's seven pages. Isa lang na da ang nakasulat. That's my prayer request that God will prepare me a partner in life with such qualities. Siyempre, kinang lang ko requirements, pero I'm not getting young. Thank you, Lord. So, medyo prayer request na. Medyo kinangla na, no? Kasi kami yung mga girls, may expiration kami yan. So, um, one, of my, one, one of my requirements was, Lord, God-fearing. Of course, syempre, we're Christians. Teenagers, please, young adults. Number one, God-fearing. Next, what is your next prayer request, girls? Siyempre, parehas naman ang taguro, no? Ang prayer request. Kimuya, Carl, na yung prayer request ang ikadawa. Oh, parehas ta. I want something like soul. Di ba? A choice, a mighty man of valor, a handsome. That when he get up, mas taas siya sa iban. But, the Lord gave me one. For all the prayer requests for one year, Lord, one year. Imagine your pages on scribble pad every Sunday. It's a word for the world, Makati. So, um, isa lang ginhatag ni Lord sa akin, God fearing man. <laughs> so, um, during those times of five years, 1998 to 1999, during John Xavier's work as an employee. Sa Omni Marketing, he was, uh, though he's the best Motorola salesman in the whole Philippines, though that time, gin, uh, that time nga nag siya, two years before nga nag-end man ko sa Manila, was, he was offered a 5% share sa mga boss niya because they were going to have a new business in Plaza Mark, Dalumagdan. And um, John, you want to share some, you want to share, to have a share? 5% na lang na bilin. So, empleyado ka, syempre wala ka magigit ako ang kwarta, ngayon ka lang nanay mo, mas gigaw bra ka pa. He gave 5% of that. But that 5% is our, one of our donkeys. That 5% make a big difference in our life. So, okay na to. It was already prepared. And one, the best thing that happened during the five years of waiting and the one year of prayer request, 
John called me one day in Manila. And he said, he got born again. Oh, grabe si Lord. Grabe. Naborn again siya. But all my plan is just to go back in La Carlota to, rock, to reconcile, to go sa kay Malakat sila sa Gintubdan, to have a fellowship there. So I will go there. But our relationship ni Jan is just hindi iya parehas. Gagyan nga si Ling, nga stick to one, no? Inang... No, I mean, not big deal sa isa kang magnabiyuhanay. Just, we're just friends. We can be friends. We can be good friends. He's really good. He's an honest man. He's really a gentleman. Um, pag born again niya, you will see even in the streets, even in the dipasahe, even in the plaza, even sa work niya, he shared the word of God. And nag-change siyang halan niya. Hindi na si John, pastor na natawag sa iya. Because he shared the word of God even to his bosses. Tanan, tanan, even sa tanan niya, girls. May hiling na siya sa mag-talk sa mga girls. And he's really good at it. So, all, ang tanan niya na iyang mga upod sa work, which is girls and boys, he talked about God. He really talked. His life is really a testimony sa ilang ulobrahan. Tapos that's, This is the first chapter of obedience sa kabuhi. Kung nga, really, you're really that good. Pagpuli ko din, then, di. Pakasalta, pwede man. Okay, ah. So, wala lang. Wala, wala, I mean, hindi, I mean, hindi a fantasy or that. We get married. We really get married. So, pagkasal naman, that was the year, the year May 8th. Year 1999. By the 2000, 2004, nagkapangimpliyo. Siyempre, you have 3,000 a month for a salary. I'm just a plain housewife. And did God leave us? No. I believe that life is a war. Kung may ara ka na iya, pamilya. And this is the value of prayer in our life as a mother. When you have children, nga ifid. When you have family to handle, even a husband. That's why I'm really asking for a wife's day, because in your husband you can ask. In your children, sure, ikaw ang gina ask, di ba? So this is what a prayer is for. If you believe that life is a war. So 2000 to 2004. Beeper was obsolete, and he was retrenched at Omni Marketing. Next chapter of of our life, ang mga boss nag-offer siya. You're five percent plus your management under Plaza Mart. Ikaw na lang to manage since you still have the five percent and wala ka na obra kay wala na no more beeper. You know so masulod na ang Fifty-one ten, I think. Masulod na. God in the Bible, it's always said, "Everything you touch will prosper." Tutuod ginat siya, because ang pagmanis ni Jan sang Omni Marketing for four years, it doubled. They have Bacolod Executive as a branch. They have Manuela Building. They have Lagoon and even in Robinson. Grabe pagdako sa Omni Marketing. And that is not already Omni Marketing. It's Jump. It's under Javier Orbano, so Montilibano, and uh, Poblador. Nga, no? Big man. Small Javier. But nagdako ang company. Pag-manage ni Jan. Isa yung sinakampany. Siyempre, despite of everything, pagdako ng dividendo, Everyone is interested, though it's the dividends and the the three thousand ng salary lang ni Sir John ang nagasustain sa family ko. So it was handed to other boss. No gun, mga ahaw. Why, Lord? Why, Lord? Pero nijan it's okay. Nawa nijan, okay lang na yah. Kaya ti amo ginaya. So under the management of another boss for one year. In this time. We stand on God's sovereignty. We always pray. We always pray. Kami ni Jan, we always pray. We stand on God's sovereignty. We have to trust God's provision. 
Because we have nothing this time. And siling pa sa sinang one year na bankrupt ang jump marketing. Everything was gone. Even na question pa ang honesty kag ang pagmani si Jen during that year pang iban. But God intended it to happen. Why? Because He has something for us. He has something for us on that um, particular situation. Siling ni John, Sir, since wala naman tanan niya branch, niya ginpangabulayan ko, can you offer me ang dalong hagdan? Kasi syempre, uh, doon sa Plaza Mart, hindi na da, kaya pwede katag rights siya for the rental. You have to go to, to the office. So, pwede, ito siyempre, there are other business, uh, mga interesado man bala, na negosyante nga mag-take some place. But, John uh, asked for the, asked for the Dalong Hagdan where he started it all. And, uh, siling ko ti ano ang, what are we going to do in there? Wala tiya unod. But God is good. The, bo, the, the management or mga upo niya nag, nagsiling. Kung anong may arada sa Dalong Hagdan, Imo na lang natanan. Kung ano ang... Ti, you have to have the PDC check for 12 months ahead para makuha mo na ang dalong magdan. Kaya may arat yun, may na-deposit na daan. Siling sa mga boss, imo naman lang na for you to start again. It's free, the PDC. If we rent it for 3,000 a month, 3,000 times 12, naka-PDC na. So we have one year free nga rental. And uh, one, another, another blessing. Di wala man ko da iunod. Ano yung butang ko ng cellphone? We don't, we, we have nothing. Then, since John started that business, he has all the list of suppliers. And the suppliers offer her a terms. And um, even a consignment basis. So, muna siya. We have to trust God in every details of our life. So, January 2005 is the birth of Zoltex Trading. Yes. And um, the first memory verse nga magkopol kami is Matthew 6.33. Kaya rin nag-start ng amon nga, ano gid nga, memory verse. This is John's favorite memory verse. But this is really true. As kis kay sino pa nga kabuhi. Seek ye first in His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things shall be given to you as well. Sino ba lang hindi gusto business, di ba? So, it's all our risk. It's really all our risk to have a business. And um, even you take a loan or my money and everything like that, you have to take by faith nga mag-grow gin na. But uh, we're not frightened of that because we know that we have God and we know gidya nga ara gidya si Lord because we are walking on the word of God. So hindi na hindi ka na pwede mapalya. And um, number one rules as a wife or as a couple never forget that that business is from God. So you have to give your tithes. You have to give your tithes if you want if you uh, God wants to prosper you. Kay tiambal niya ang prayer ni John. Lord, you said, not one, but all. Ang bugin niya, fermi ang prayer niya until now. Lord, you said, not one, but all. So we stand, we stand on this uh, memory verse. And you know what, sang, during the time yeah, we have that Zeltex under the Dalunga Hagdan, one, one that amazes me is that, pinsar nila, yaw, dako-dako, gandiyang kumpanya namon sa mga suppliers sa Manila mo. Because they call me, can you connect me to accounting department? Can you connect me to purchase department? Tapos ako lang tanang niya sa Batma. Ikaw ni Kuno Maho kay accounting department. Siling nilibin, sir, niyaguro nila. Ito ko dako na yung kapanya. Yan nga ito, pila niya ka floor. Yan nga, sabi, dahilang magdan lang kami. So, gaka-amaze ko because from that day, gintagaan kami pag-iyan ni Lord sa mga empleyado, bila, nga... They're born Catholics. They're born lang gidya sa farm. But, subong ar, hindi sila tanan. Ar, hindi sila tanan. We have Ryan as our technician. We have Rilin. Ngayon, nakapamana naman di siya. They became a Christian. We have Rafi. 
We have even have Rex ang brother niya kaysa na ni sila galing ka pamilya sa akin. Kaya gin-endorse niya sa sa father niya sa akin. Tapos ta nga, bilog mo pamilya. And then, we have Denmark. So, is everything, is everything in our life connected sa presence ni Lord? Ang mga plans ni Lord sa life na connected? Is it an accident only? No. It's all connected. Basta gawa ka kay Lord. So, happy, happy. Gay ko sa mga, blessed ko sa mga, kay, sa mga empleyado ko. And, uh, sa pagsugod pa lang na mo, yung 2,000, gin bless siya pag ko yung mga yayang. At kung pila edad, yan yung isang kamagulangan ko. Pila na ganyan edad? 22? 22 years man siya sa akin. That's Nora. And even has all the mga kahinablusan na nila sa akin. It's really very long relationship. Sometimes kasumuod. Good job sa history. Sa ilang itsura. Especially si Fiel. Kasumuod. Good job kayo. Kahit tanan niya phone, even for all my our old customers, the direkig ko na yung nagbakal sa una. Tapos ipakita ang picture. Ang picture sa empleyado. Kung itong gudugay ka nag-idiyat to. Yeah. Doon mo na bla. That's how how good God is and faithful is. So, the five years of Dalong Hagdan is So challenging to us. But we have a new prayer again. And we have to... Si Lingka Dalabay na danamon sa tubang sa Plaza Mart. Thank you, Lord. Napit-hapit yung gina siya. Tambalan si John. Thank you, Lord. The Pretty Jade Boutique. And I have my prayer. Lord, maybe I have to pray this. The prayer of Jabiz. Who knows that? Oh Lord, that you will bless me and enlarge my territory. A prayer, a five year, a four years of prayer na sa mong kabuhi. So Jabez cried, that's in 1 Chronicles 4, 9 to 10. Jabez cried out to Uva Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. I hold on to this prayer while John claiming that it by faith. And um, from the start of 5%, you'll see. And from the start of a, just a prayer request, you see how God works, how God connected our life. So, did we have the prime location? Yes. God handed it over to us, but it's not that easy. Another testimony to share is if you have that location the owner of that will say kung gusto mo ni damo man interesado so our year uh, that year sang sa dalom hagdan kapakan me you know what Jan Javier is doing she ha he has his 3310 and group the group text na siya It's a Bible verse every day in his life. Ginashare niya na sa tanan. And one of the receivers ang text, ang Bible verse every day, Bible verse every day, alin mga kilala niya sa bangko and everything, was the, uh, was the, the daughter na may cancer sa isang Pretty Jade Boutique. And um, one day he came to John and said, may uhay gina sila mo. John, uh, we're living. And uh, I think, If you are interested in this location, ikaw ang i-recommend ko sa babaw. Grabe ka, Gidya Lord. As in, oo. Mama, mama. Ito ang ang ginapagyan ta everyday. Mahali na sila ko no this year. Okay, it's not getting good. So, yes. Gin-offer kayo dyan. Pero we don't have, we don't have the 500,000 na ginhambal sa utod niya nga. Somebody offered 500,000 for our location. But I said, Lord, this is not that. Hindi naman ni Ila. Iyan niya sang building. But um, that's, that's how business goes. And then, ti, why na eh? Why nang you will enlarge my territory? Maybe, Lord, you... Basta isa, iban mo kami butang. Basta isa, Robinson. Kaya dumi Robinson naman to that time. But still, we pray. And, um... Another week, gintawag si John. Gin-offer ni Galis ang anak, asang sister ko, say mo. So, somebody offered for 500,000. How much is your offer? We cannot offer anything. Wala, gidya kami. Inugahataw nga 500,000. Even in our passbook, wala sa 500,000. Nga katabok. 
Another week passed, that's for the running three weeks. Yung patawag naman kami liwat for another meeting. Di wala agad. Sisip naman, di wala agad. No big deal kung hindi. Okay lang. Di siyempre, contento naman lang kami ako nung harap. But it's my prayer. Lord, it's my prayer that you will enlarge my territory. It's my prayer, Lord. So we continue to claim that by faith. And uh, that that group text, that Bible verse, every day has an impact in the life of Mom Shubi. Kagdako, gina ko nung bully niya, kahit iga struggle siya sa cancer mo. And he, she shared that sa iya nga mother. Which is ang amo gina yung founder, that's ang Pretty Jade Boutique. She shared that. So, mga siguro three weeks or one month of uh, meeting with John with me. I'm tired. Siling ko, maybe, hindi na, that's not really for us. And, uh, One day, ginpatawag si John sa Ila Balay. It's really big and everything. Yan, muna itong balay sa likod sa Oyo Hotel now. That's the owner. And he asked, you are John Javier. Siling sa mother ni isang, ano, isang may cancer na iya. Yeah. You're the one who inspired, who blessed my my daughter for you, be your word. Yeah, yes, amo na. Kaya hindi nila, ma, hindi nila matag to sa interested niya 500,000 ang place. It's the mother who will decide. But since na share man niya isang recipient ng text, ng Bible verse, sa mother he called Jan, and he offered the Zaltex trading sa dalawang plaza mart sa prime location with no 500,000. Ay grabe gaya si Lord yah. You see how faithful ang ginoo sa kabuoy namin, and the. We turn to God first for help. We feel our thoughts. Kung anong gusto pag ni Lord sa amon. Nga, ang alive na mo ni John since we have that improvement. Lord, can we have the pattern sa ang among kabuhi? Nga makita ka gid. Nga ginaservisyohan. Kag ikaw gid yung ginoo sa kabuhi na mo. And that is, we have to obey Him in everything sa among kabuhi. The first business can na grow sa kamot ni namon ni Jan Javier. That the promise of God that in everything you touch will prosper is really true. And that we made a covenant to not forget, not only to give our tithes faithfully sa among kabuhi. And um, lawig na ko. Nag-iksa na wala pa. In our life, I can say that we really don't need more. We really, we just need God's favor. Amo lang gitna, because it will flow. Una halang siya bla. It will really flow. If you continue to read the Bible, if you continue, if you really enjoy reading the Bible, especially the Old Testament, no packet book lang nasa. You will see that Deuteronomy twenty-eight twelve. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouses of His bounty, to send rain on your hand in season and to bless all the works of your hands. So God prospers us. We have Zeltex, we have Arvis Line, together with our employees, we become more conscious. Kaiti Lord, grabe ka naman. Every day you poured out blessing into our lives. You have blessed us this much. Hindi na siling a million niya, kundi inang adlaw daw lang blayang a blessing. Ginagmay, pero dako na na yan sa amun. So, we became more conscious of every day, every money he poured out every day in our life. So, we made another covenant. Ako kag si John. We agreed to give for his kingdom what he requires us. Our tithes continually and increase that. And a seed for a mission. So we have chosen to give and share more than 10% He requires and live only for the remaining. Is it a command? Budlay? Ara ginabla sa Malakay. Can you post that? Ara ginabla sa Malakay. It's really hard for us when it comes about money. So is everything connected from the donkey down for being a king? Yes. Because during the pandemic, you have your live streaming. Everything John touches that serves the Lord, it prospers. It starts with just a cell phone, having a live one. 
Lord, you have prospered us. Maso naman ta. Then we have the media ministry. Asked how much ang media ministry, ang equipment ta. Di na naghalin. Nag-flow lang gina niya. Nag-sulod lang gina. Nag-abot na. And that's just God's dream. Yun ang dream gina ni, ni John. Na ipadakoon pag iya ang media ministry niya. It cost that much. Kaya halin na niya kay Lord. It's not ours. We just enjoy the remaining na blessing ni Lord sa aton kabuhi. Tutuod gina siya ya, ang tights ya. Kay even ang hambal sang iloy ko. Nagitom, ah, nagputi lang ko nung buhok niya sa travel ni Daddy Adadlao nga ubra kan laon na Carlota sa ginabiyahe niya. This is the word ng ni Daddy when you're giving your tights. Nung ka. Ang aksidente ko. Sa kabuhi sa kamay ko, wala gina siya ang aksidente. Ginapapuli na siya sa amon kada sa baddo. Kay weekend lang gina siya ang puli. Because my mother and father is also a tighter. Tighter gina sila. Nakita ko gina siya. But despite of everything, of all the victories in life, we have struggles, we have battles. And the enemy knows that Even sometimes we don't believe the word of God in our life that is true. Even ara na sa Bible, gadaot pa takong kisa. Pero ang enemy, kabalo. Sabalo si Satanas, that you are a child of God, that you are victorious, that you are blessed. The enemy knows na kaya mo yung magtindog sa kahiginoong iso Kristo. That's why he always has a plan to attack you, to attack us. And um, hindi nangin the 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 bigger and the the more nga hold on ka bala, kag the more you stand, the more nga dak dak ko ang pagtuo mo kagastan ka sa ginoo, the greater the responsibilities, the greater the attack. Grabe si Satanas. Greater gud yang yang attack sa amon. So but I remember, di ba? Ang hambal ko kay Lord, isa lang damo ko requirements and qualities. Isa lang ginatag niya. It's a God-fearing man. So ang wife, once sa negosyo namun, once wala na gani makita mong pasbuk nga doon lo. Doon lo, nabilin. Gapal yang asawa, wala na budget, wala na everything, wala, gapanik, gapraning. You can relate that. As in, ti ang balsang bana ko. Diri mo gina nga nung amaya si Lord kay God-fearing gina ginatang niya sa akin. Gariklamo ko, do wala buyer sa buha, do wala sales, do wala mo na. Wala, ano, mas maila na siya sa akin, nagatbikin mo chita, makita yung gina how stressful I am. Makita yung gina, so mahambala na siya. Basi kulang ang gintanong ta. Let's add it. Amo gina yung ginambal niya sa akin, kukuo, no? Amo na gali. Amo na siya. Remember? Ang mga, mga memory verse ta. Kasi kulang lang. Maybe. You check. Sometimes in our life, we complain on our past books. We complain on our budgets. What is really true? Kaya kasubo na bla sa mga mothers nga they have all the tasks. They will carry tanan-tanan sa panimalay, even for the family, even for the business. Hindi na siya housewife, hindi na siya nanay, kundi negosyante pa kit siya. Kakapoy kaya kayo. So, amo nang hamba sa bana ko. Basi kulang lang ang gintanong ta. So, let's add it. So, the enemy cannot stop us from sowing for the kingdom of God. So, always remember nga ginbutang, gininamon sa amon, nga paminsaron because of the experiences nga ginatak sa ngyawa sa amon. Ang yawa ko no, kung hindi niya ka makamadala sa tiklod, itikwang niya ka. He cannot attack us on our finances because we give our tithes, because He promised us that if we Give our 10%. percent promise yung ginaya. Hindi ka niya pwede. Yan nga nagatag ka sa tights mo. Doga timba ka lang na iya nga may buslot kung wala na. You have to. Try nyo lang. Kung bugat gid. But try nyo with all your heart. Because love, God loves a cheerful giver. Try nyo. 
and you will see, you will taste every good from the land, as He promised. Tutuod gina siya. So, natikwang kami sa yawa. Yes. Pag tikwang niya sa amon, nakita niya ang vulnerable sa amon niya kabuhi. Ang mga tao nga palangga na amon. So, we are always reminded Maski amon niya pagtikwa niya, pagtandog niya sa mga loved ones namon, He touched our heart, He touched our mga loved ones, and He even touched our daughters. And um, did we continue to kneel down for a battle? Yes, we did. And I was reminded and comforted by God's word. Greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. Kapit lang, bes. Kapit lang, di ba? Though even some ta- even we fail to believe His word, we always remember that we are the child of God. We always remember that we will overcome because kabalo ng yawa. At uh, kabalo na yung yawa, yung amu ka na na victorious. Kaya yung kabalo na yung yawa, basi wala ka na yung kabalo. Kabalo na yung yawa, nga victorious ka. Kaya nga, you are saved and redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. You will live victoriously in this world basta ginakaptan mo lang ang pulong sa ginoo sa kabuhi mo. So, um, nagkabalob lang ginoo ang pulong sa ginoo. He even caught verses in the Bible. And uh, as we always claim, our household will serve you, Lord. So, hindi, no, no kay Satan. Even kabalo kasi na mas kabalo kami ya. That we are loved by God. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So, maski ano pa nga paninguha ni Satanas, he failed in our life. Maski ano pa nga taki, yes, so, we know. Para si Iso Cristo, yes, amo niya, gadupa pa na yan sa tubang niya sa amay. So, God's favor will be upon us in a thousand generations as the song says in the blessings. Number 6, 24-26. So God is always at work in this world even when we cannot see what He is doing. No matter what kind of pressures we must endure or how many changes we must face, God is ultimately in control of every situation in our life. So we just have to be confident in His sovereignty so we can face the difficult situations in our life with boldness. So Jen and I are always praying Ang prayer gina namon magpungko kami sa pagkaon. If we have, if we are complete, Lord, alin pa niya sa pagkumpisa gisan ng family kami, even the kids are still small. This is the main title of the prayer. Lord, we're always pray. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will use us as a channel of blessing, as a channel. Lord, use us as a channel of blessing for your kingdom and for the other people. Mabati, ang mga ni si Jan Javier ka pray, ang mga ginaya prayer niya, mas kitig kalaon pa. Use us as channel of blessing. Use us as a channel of blessing, a channel of blessing sa mga is for your kingdom. Adlaw-adlaw niya pag nga prayer ni Sir Jan. You see, Manny here, gin-remind ni kami na ni, ni Lord for prospering us. That now I'm turning 50 this May 18. I see how good, how God's goodness, hamong kabuhi, and how how He turned that uh, obedience of mine, the Ephesians six one, into a greater purpose, sakon kabuhi. So we 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 put to ourselves that money is always is the seed, and the seed is designed to reproduce itself. And if you don't sow your seed, you have nothing to reproduce. So don't love money more than you love God. Know that money, know that the money that He is blessing us with is for much greater purpose. Does the money used for greater purpose? Yes, para sa ginarian niya. So, get into the right soil. Bati ang gini, as I listen sa mga preachers, bila sa TV, you have to sow in the right soil. You have to think about where you're sowing your seed. And you have to sow in a fertile ground. Last, 
I read again, Samuel, 1 Samuel 9:22 to 24. Then Samuel brought Saul and his servant into the hall and seated them at the, at the head of those who were invited, about 30 in number. And Samuel said to the cook, bring the piece of meat I gave you, the one I told you to lay aside. May naman gidya para sa atong tanan. It's just a matter of obedience. Just look for those donkeys. Pero na natala na natuya nga ma-meet niya natuya si si Samuel ya. Na set aside na na siya. So cook so the cook took up the thigh with what was on it and set it in front of Saul. And Samuel said, "Here is what you have been kept for." It because it was set aside for you. Na reserve na na ni Lord para sa imo. Na reserve may reservation si Lord sa imo. You are cold. Just obedience lang gid. Umpisa hilang sa obedience kay Lord. Ordinary malang ganis si Saul that time. Guapo lang siya. Pero nagubay siya sa father niya. But was it was already intended. It was already this the design na na siya. So. Just a small task given as a divine appointment sa Ginoo. And um, siguro masiling kung um, I could have known that God is crafting my life. Every chapter of my life until I am here now turning 50. So a mother of three, a husband, a mother-in-law, I survived 50 years. 50 years old na ko because this is my assignment. And the scripture is true and God is not a liar. He connected my simple obedience to a greater purpose. He is always there throughout every story of my life, every details of my life. So, in closing, gusto ko gudya pa salamatan, hindi nga mga tao, for 35 years, kina born again ko. Nga gin ano ko gini? I I made these words of them as part of my war in life. Si Mami Glo, he always I always thank my mom. Kay simple na na siya. He don't she don't talk too much. But once nga ra tagilid ng aning life mo, he will he will say she will say a thing. Hindi hindi gini ang mga gini hindi ko malipatan kay Mami Glo. Men, sang college na ko, they're not the only fish in the ocean. Damo, kapanayang makita kung professional ka na. Siyempre, may kapangaliyag, di ba? So, mo gina yung word ni Mami Glo, kaging butang ko, gina yung maminsaron ko. And, um, nag-serve gina siya sa ako, nasta nga nakaubra ko. Because I think, I think, and I think. And I have Jeremiah 29, 11 attached to that. Sakay Pastor Luxin for 35 years. Ay grabe. Pag-umpisa pa lang ninamo sa Word for the World ya. The brother lang gini siya sa amo niya. He has this uh, character bala nga relationship gina siya. Ya. No matter what. Hindi ko yan nami maganda. We have frontliners, they have great ano gyan nami gyan tingo. Ti ako hindi ko yan nami tingo. Pero nakabak up ko. Back up senior ko siya. Nyeri back up ako ni Kiko before. And uh, in ablang, di, he don't know. But his character is molding me. Hindi ko dapat may insecure because bata kaya sang ginoo. Bata kaya sang ginoo sila ni Kiko. We enjoy ko sa fellowship niya namun sa una niya. It's really very simple. simple and because nag-board mo na na sila sa una mo, gina-deliberan mo na na sa tangkong panyaga nila. Yes, kung sino na yung mga dumdum nga miyembro. They fight that hard. Para sa simbahan. And uh, amo ginang nag-amaze uh, ako sa wala lang yung kabalo si Pastor Luxe niya. Pero namian gig ko ya because wala niya ko yung ginitsa puwera sa pulpit to kaya hindi namin tingog ko. <laughs> Gintray niya pag gigami ya nangin Bible school teacher ko. And uh, everything kundi yung kamiara ginatanan mga angels niya kapag lang gaya ko ni kaya nga the last time he said to me last year Hindi mo kuya pagbayaan. Kay duwa na lang tayo bilhin. <laughs> so muna, that's the story. 
And uh, so as the time goes by, mapalapit ko na siya, masilingin na siya. So, ang isa ka word niya, hindi ko na malapitan, separate the bones from the meat. Because I have this uh, someone nga, he loves church hopping. She loves church hopping. And, uh, okay, mamangkot ko na. Gadamo sa mga debate, blokong kisa. And I really don't like that. He just, Pastor Will said, Pastor Will just separate the bones from the meat. Get something yung makabulig si Imo. Every word. For example, in, kung hindi mag isa kinanglan niya, Kristiyano, no? may ara ko isa ka-friend sa una. He will have an advice to me. Nga nagbutang gina sa paminsarong ko. Sometimes if you take advice, don't give you don't don't go to the people who nakabalog yung isang batasan mo and everything. Go to the neutral people who don't know you. And you talk to them and get the meat and just throw the bones. When I was in Manila, eh, siyempre tupad balay ko lang ang Malati Church. But uh, is it okay to sit down in a Catholic Church and just pray? Kaya hindi mo ka pray sa restaurant. Then I called sa kagayan to siya. Min, mas kihara ka lang sa dalong kamatis. Basta dadlong ang relasyon mo sa ginoo. It's okay. And uh, some the time yung katagilid ang business namon, he told me, just take care of the one who is flourishing. Asa subong prinsipyo na siya sa kabuhi ko. Kagdako gina niya ngabulig sa ako na sa subong. Kay Pastor Sani, yes, he called me once sa center to pa sa BDO Gatoslaw. He called me personally and offered me a window of opportunity. An opportunity to sow a seed. Ambal niya sa ako. Gin-open up ko lang ginisay mo kay this is a blessing. May aral. Some, uh, we need some, you have to sow something for this. For this is a, great, a greater opportunity. So, learning from Pastor Sunny, learning that from the seed it will reproduce, you can say that when you sow your seed, wrap it with your faith and watch what God will do with you. For Pastor Jerry, sa Amot Bible Study, permi sa una, sa BDO Plaza, Mangkutuga, ah, sa BDO Gatoslaw, Hindi ni siya madula sa paminsaron ko kay amo ni gapad gad nagaparealize ako niya until now ya yeah, mo managyapo ginahimo ni Kristo sa kabuhi ko gado pa si Kristo sa tubang sang amay para sa imo until now he's still on the mercy seat para sa aton so did God reserve something for your life yes he did that to soul. He did that to me. And in closing, to na ang closing. For me, the definition of God's sovereignty is chill lang bala. Be still and know that I am God. Mothers. So, if He was able to align all the planets in the universe, wala man nagkalataktak. He was able to separate the water from the sea. Kita nyo, may boundary. Hindi pa niya pwede magkatuna sa mountain niya ang beach. It spoke of our boundaries in life. It has a message. If he is able to numbers, if he knows the numbers of the sky, and able to knit you perfectly in your mother's womb, then we should be faithful to, to our task that is at hand in this season where God has placed us, mothers. And you will be amazed for the particular small task, that small donkey, that small obedience from your parents, that small one, that small divine appointment. You will be amazed that it's not because that particular small task will lead you to your destiny. Always remember we are not made to impress people. We were made for the applause of heaven. Thank you.